y'all I'm here to do another Dollar Tree haul well actually this is more of a collective haul I'm sitting outside in my beautiful yard right now enjoying the trees and the wind so hopefully it doesn't get too loud and hopefully this goes okay all right I guess for the first things I'm going to start off with I'm going to start off with my cleaning supplies and I have this scrubbing buddies I use these on my Swiffer it says wet sweeper refill cloths but let's be honest that's just generic word for Swiffer okay second I got this basic micro USB cable I also got this handheld grater Betty Crocker brand I got this mesh laundry bag um, hamper this is for my son um, he's getting ready to leave for school so I'm getting a bunch of these kinds of things scientific calculator also for my son who's going off to school index cards once again <laughs> son going to school um, okay, let's see. I got these wire snippers. Actually, my husband got these, but I will probably use them too whenever I do jewelry making and such. Got this 2016 planner. Now, this thing, I thought it was going to be one of the school year planners that started in August and went through 2016 because school's starting. I get to looking in it. No, it starts January. It actually starts in December 2015, it looks like. Hold on, let me look at this and see. Yeah, the last couple days of December is when it starts. But, it's cute. I wanted something pocket size. Okay, we also got some antacids. I also got... Yes. A new I keep on wanting to call it a spatula it's not a spatula it's a oh dustpan brain fart <laughs> um, and then a caddy my son who's going to school for taking back and forth you know to the shower and that kind of thing okay and I also got these chopping board sheets there's two in a pack I really like these Okay, now on to the beauty items. First, let me start out with the more boring stuff. Okay, I got these wipies here. And I do use these quite a bit. But one of the things that I do with them is I spot clean my brushes between cleanings. What I like to do is get out one of these pads, put it on a flat surface, and after I've applied my makeup, la -dee da take it, and just swirl your brush around. This is a clean brush because I do this every time. Swirl it around and then your brush will be your brush will be spot clean. Throw that away and then it keeps them fresh between like deep cleaning or you know other cleanings that you might do. Okay now into the beauty. I found some of this nearly naked. I got this in true beige and it is a little dark for me right now. It was a dollar though. So, back at the beginning of the summer when I got went to the beach and stuff, this would have been perfect. As of now, it's too dark. Sorry. Had a back spasm. Um Oh, one other non-beauty health essential thingy is um this mini LED light. I don't know if it's going to work. I thought it looked cute. I don't even know where I'm going to use it, but I got it. Okay, now back to the beauty. I also got some of this Massage and Play 2-in-1 by Durex at the Dollar Tree. Name brand. So, yes. I got some of this Wet n Wild Matte Top Coat. I got the Shadow Ice from Milani. And this is in Almond Cream. I've got all the rest of the colors. They didn't have this last time they came through my Dollar Tree. 
I also got this wet and wild eyeshadow brush. I don't know how well it'll work. Um, but yeah. And then I also got this wet and wild protective base coat. My base coat and top coat's been weird lately. It's been not drying completely, like after hours and hours and hours, regardless if I let it sit five minutes or 20 minutes between coats. Um, so, yeah. Then my last um, Dollar Tree item is these uh, color tattoos. And I got so excited, I ran, I was like, yes, they finally got the color tattoos in, because I have been looking, and this is the first time they've got the color tattoo brand in at my personal Dollar Tree. So, you know, I got all excited, went in there, and then I went out to my car and pulled one out and looked at the packaging, and my excitement quickly turned to disappointment upon realizing they're pigments. Yes, I know. People like pigments. Me, personally, I rarely wear pigments. So I went from excitement to disappointment, really, but then to acceptance because I'll, I'll make myself use them. I'm not going to write them off just because I thought it was a different product. But I got this one here in downtown brown. I've got these three browns that look very close, so I'm going to show them to you, and then I'll swatch them so you can see the difference. This one right here in buff and tough and this one right here in breaking bronze okay let me swatch these so I can just show you that they are completely different I will say though however that this buff and tough isn't very pigmented and it's got glitter in it which I do not appreciate sorry I keep looking down I'm trying to swatch these okay let's see I don't know if you can see or if it's going to focus this one right here is the downtown brown this one right here you can barely barely see it it's the one with the glitter it is the buff and tough and then this top one right here this really bronzy pretty one is the breaking bronze okay so those three look where did my wipes go I just had them those three look very similar um, I think I like them all except for the one with the glitter the uh, let me see buff and tough I really just it's not pigmented and it's got a lot of glitter and it's sparkly. Okay, well, I'll put these lids back on. I know this wind's kind of blowing my hair. So, it's all over the place today. Oh, my pack's giving out on me. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, along with the color tattoos, 24-hour pigments, I also got the Never Fade Jade. I got the... Rebel Pink, and I also got the Black Mystery. Okay, let me swatch those real quick. I've already got them opened. Hold on, let me just pull this out of my face because that wind is really blowing. Okay. want to swatch these all at once because the colors are so different you're not going to have trouble figuring out which one belongs to which okay I don't know if that's going to focus because of this outside lighting but this is obviously the bottom one is the never fade jade the middle one purpley one is rebel or pink rebel it is pink but it's kind of got a purple undertone and then the last one top one is black mystery okay and that concludes the Dollar Tree part of this haul I'm going to go on to a journey sticks haul that is the page you can go to on Facebook to find it um, if you decide you want anything 
go onto Facebook, request your item, um, and they can send you a PayPal link so you can pay through PayPal. Um, like I said, the page is Journey Sticks. They've got a Facebook page. Um, I'm not really sure if there's any other pages. I think it's just Facebook. But anyways, let me go ahead and try to find my stuff. I've got things everywhere here. Okay, these are a couple little pipes and some rings. Okay, the first one is this little... These are all mahogany. Crafted by hand. I'm trying to get different angles. So you can see the artwork. Okay, here's the second one. Alright, here's the ring. This is a men's ring. And these are all handcrafted out of mahogany. Oh, itchy. Um, there are currently no prices on those, so I really don't know what they are. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to go on to the candle holders. This one was $24. Here's the artwork. It's just a flowery vine. See, it's just for a tea light. Okay, candle holder number two. All handcrafted out of reclaimed mahogany. And this right here is probably my favorite out of all the woodworking, and it's a brush holder. Just kind of show you the artwork. I mean, you could use it for pens or pencils or anything like that, but let's see if I can find my brush I just had out. But you kind of just... And of course, you'll put something in it so it'll stand up, but... And this one right here was 45 Okay. Did I get all of the... Oh, one last candle holder. I don't think I got this one. This one was 22 Like I said, the page you can get those off of is called Journey Sticks. Um, it looks like it's a walking stick page because he does a lot of walking sticks and canes, but you can also order candle holders. If you have something you want to request with certain artwork on it, you can do that too. Um, those are just the ones that I happen to have, and I'm sure more will be put up. So, yeah, that information is Journey Sticks on Facebook, and... If y'all took the time to watch this, I really appreciate it, and I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, thanks.